On a scale of one to insane, comment what number you think this lightsaber is. We would be honored if you would join us. When I came across this one, I literally thought it was a meme, but it's not. So there was this guy that was claimed to be Palpatine's son, a human male from the planet Alderaan just like Leia. His name was Eric Ismarin. He was the son of Sarsa of Quest and Rogonda Ismarin, one of Emperor Palpatine's concubines. Even though he wasn't by blood, everyone thought that he was related to Palpatine and heir to the throne. I'll explain deeper in another video that I'll have coming out tomorrow or later this week. But as you can imagine, Palpatine was obsessed with cybernetics. Grievous and Vader are a couple examples. So as Ismarin was born into the Empire as a Force-sensitive boy and essentially raised to take over, he was turned into a cyborg by the hands of his blood mother and the Imperial mad scientist, Dr. Nazdra Magradi. For example, when Eric was five, Magradi installed a sub-electronic converter into his brain, allowing him to control droids and computers through the Force. Legends is pretty crazy, I know, but it gets even better. So as time went on, Eric basically became this cybernetic dark side Force user who everyone believed was heir to Palpatine's throne. He and his mother made their way to Coruscant, where they sought refuge in a hidden laboratory. This is where Ismarin was subjected to a massive amount of growth hormones and cybernetic enhancements, increasing his strength tenfold and causing him to grow to three meters in height. He basically was like Bane from Batman. As if this wasn't enough, lightsabers were installed in his elbows, forearms, wrists, and knees. Muscle mass and bone were added to his frame. Fail safes were also installed to automatically deactivate the implanted lightsabers if they came into contact with his body, which is a pretty funny image. This kept Eric from impaling himself. Activation of these lightsabers were also hardwired into his sub-electronic converter to give him a greater control. During this transformation, Eric's mother recruited Lord Cronal to continue his training. However, during one of their training sessions, Eric lost his temper as usual and ignited his lightsabers with Kronal. Although his skill with a lightsaber absolutely sucked, records show that Kronal was defeated. However, the true story is that Kronal actually was able to escape, but not before stabbing his apprentice through the skull with his lightsaber. Brain dead, he was placed into suspended animation by his mother as she attempted to repair him. The damaged parts of his mind were replaced by computer parts, but his personality and identity were gone. Desperate for her son to return, Rogonda planned to install operational programming and memories into Irek to bring him back. Now, while his mother tried to bring him back as much as she could, at least artificially, the Yuzon Vong took over Coruscant, along with a ground quake that caused rock and rubble to fall into his laboratory, awakening him from his deep sleep. His skull empty of anything but his implants, his instincts, some combat programming, and some deep level motivations like killing Jedi and taking over Force Nexuses caused him to be completely unlike himself, or rather, forgetting who his friend and who his foe. As he awoke, he found his mother and brutally killed her, cutting her into approximately eight different pieces with as many lightsabers. He then escaped the laboratory and began to wander the surface of Coruscant. I'll explain more about his story and arc in a video solely dedicated to him that I can go more into detail, as he has a very similar story to the Wolverine, which I thought was actually really cool. If you guys want to see more about this guy, then comment or hit like so I know what to do and what to cover for you. While there are lots of weird lightsabers in Star Wars, and believe me, I've come across quite a few on the internet, such as the Light Whip or even the Cross Guard, which we've seen in Kylo's Possession and in Rebels, this one definitely takes the cake. I know we'll most likely never see something like this absurd in films or the show, but if we did, what would your reaction be in the theater? Just imagine, this guy pops up out of a dark lab with eight lightsabers going off. I think I might laugh a bit at first, but be pretty freaked out in the end. I mean, Darth Maul with his dual lightsaber was tough enough to fight against, let alone this guy. All he has to do is basically run into battle and do some twirls, then it's flawless victory, fatality. Thanks for watching this episode, everyone. If you want the supposed heir to the throne to be covered in full for another video, perhaps tomorrow, let me know. Until the next episode of Star Wars Theory, remember, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, the Force will be with you. Always.